Hi everybody, Dr. Palmer here. I wanted to go over module seven. Um, so I'm in your home page and then uh, let's click on modules and let's scroll down to module seven. Module seven is on management leadership in the internal organization and I really like uh, this area. It's one of my research areas um, along with marketing and um, uh, leadership. So uh, you have a lot of resources here. Let's go ahead and click on this and look at those um, module outcomes or learning objectives. So we're going to look at what exactly is management and then we're going to look at like management as a leader. So people have different views on management and leadership. Uh, I believe they're two totally different um, things or areas. You could be a CEO of a company um, and manage a global corporation, but you could have terrible leadership skills. Um, you could be a cashier uh, working uh, at a retail store and have lots of leadership traits or behaviors. So it's, leadership isn't really about a job title. Um, management um, is focused on other areas and I have a, I have some uh, a resource for you there. But uh, so anyways, let's look here. You have a discussion form and then you have your quiz seven um, that coincides with chapter seven. You have your presentation here, an audio visual presentation of the major topics and concepts. Um, you do have uh, your required um, text in your reading. It's going to be chapter seven. So you definitely want to be studying that because your quiz and your exams are based off your academic text, topics, and concepts. But of course, your whole module is uh, built around those topics and concepts as well as your supplemental and enrichment files are, are built on that. So it just scaffolds and builds off one another. Um, so it's, it's all tied together. But you do want to be utilizing that resource. An academic textbook is a great resource. Among, you know, I'm a resource for you. Um, you're a resource for yourself. Um, you know, uh, reputable websites. Academic journals are great that you can pull down from the library website. Um, and uh, interviewing people and uh, personal experiences. So all of that combined um, gives you a good foundation. Um, so then let's look at your resources here. You have lots of them here. Leadership versus management. Um, let's see here. So if you go into this, you'll get some, you know, managers have subordinates, people they tell what to do, whereas leaders have followers. You know, we have people who follow us, or we are followers to our leaders in our life. So there's a lot of there's a lot of different nuances in what is a manager and what is a leader. But in my opinion, they're two entirely different things. Um, some you know some people have different opinions. They blend together, and I can see that too. Of course, you know if you're a manager, you're you're in a managerial role, but it's also a leadership role. But are you practicing your leadership behaviors and your traits, or are you just doing a budget, hiring people, firing people? that type of thing. So you have a lot of resources there. Let's go back into, um, let's look at the discussion forum. It's on organizational culture and this is an area I really like because every company is different with their culture. So we know we, you just did an activity with the Nestle Corporation and you looked at some of the social and um, other uh, linguistic, you know, cultural difference among others. Um, religious attitudes, uh, gender attitudes, um, so all these things come into play. But when you think about an organization, the culture is just the underlying assumptions or norms or behaviors that's going on. And sometimes it's not what you see in a company, but it's it's what you can overhear or what's implied or, you know, those type of things that make up the culture of that company. Um, you know, for example, Apple has a very innovative, you know, culture, but that's just one element of its organizational culture. There's many other elements to it. Um, so anyways, organizational culture, love that area of business, um, that, and topic and concept. So, so here we go. What I want you to do is I want you to, your activity, uh, as I want you to research a company or a firm, organization, corporation, um, small business, whose goods or services you purchase often using the internet 
are from personal buying experiences. So it could be on the internet or it could be a, a brick and mortar store where you walked in and made the purchase. Identify key points which signify the company's organizational culture. So what is their culture about based off your experience with the company and doing research on it? Okay, we're at the five minute mark. Um, let's see here. So I want you to reflect on that. If you feel like you'd be an effective manager in that type of organization, why or why not? Um, so this is the discussion forum. We're all going to be discussing this. Don't forget about your rubric and uh, be sure you're hitting all these elements and be sure you're reviewing your rubrics before you start an activity. Um, don't forget your quiz and I will talk to you soon. Bye.